So welcome to episode four. Uh, today it gets really interesting because we're going to get uh, finally into painting this piece. Um, thanks very much for those of you who've commented on the videos so far. It's been a very interesting conversation. Um, I just uh, one of the issues I wanted to address uh, is the size of this piece. I know that I've said it's a large piece, and um, I know that a lot of artists paint much larger sizes than this. Uh, it's just that for me, this is a big piece because. This is typically the size that I paint most often, which is an eight by eight. Um, and I can usually do these in about a day. So I do them what's called a la prima, which is one pass of paint and one painting session. Uh, so this is, for me, a much larger project and uh, I'm really looking forward to tucking into it. Uh, just for reference point, um, this is the size of brush that I most typically use. It's a number two bright um, and uh, so for the size of painting, obviously, it makes a lot of sense. Not so much for this size. I think I'm going to need a bigger brush. right-handed painters have to contort their bodies the way that I have to do mine to get some of these brush strokes in. I'm told that they don't. I, I've, I have never actually stopped and watched people paint while I'm doing it with other people, um, but I'm told that it's a little bit uh, more challenging for the uh, south paws among the painting set. That's going to be it for today's painting session. Um, so far I am both uh, in shock and in awe of the amount of paint that it takes to cover a surface of this size. I squeezed out what I thought was an outrageous amount of paint on my palette and it's all gone. Uh, so next time what I'm going to be working on is the lower portion of the foreground here and I'm probably going to come back over some of these dark areas. It's looking a little bit uh, bare in some patches I want to make sure that I have a nice even finish um, all the way across here, even though I'm going to be glazing this top portion with uh, some lighter color uh, in the final uh, round of painting. Uh, and also the next step will uh, involve uh, tucking into the darks in the bowl here. Uh, there are some pure uh, black elements uh, that I want to make sure that I put in before I go in with any other color. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in episode five.